Hey guys, it's May May, and it is time for our scripture art journaling for this week. And I kind of feel like I'm kind of going to cheat you guys a little bit, but this is a super quick page, but it's exactly what I wanted to do. And let me show you. Um, my business is picking up, as you guys have probably seen, like May May Made It is really getting busier and busier. And sometimes I forget that in that busyness, I still need to give glory to God. And I wanted this to remind me. And I had this paper, which is totally for teenagers. This is like a teenage scrapbook pack that I got from Walmart, for, I mean Walmart, from Michaels for $5, those super buys. And look, it's like school related and all this kind of stuff. But I still thought it's a desk and it reminds me of work. And I don't know when I would ever use this piece of paper for anything else. Um, I might could come up with something, but I thought this was a perfect place for it. So this week's scripture is what's going to remind me that even in my work, I need to remember this. And this scripture this week comes from Corinthians 10.31. It says, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Now, it actually has a little before that, but I kind of did a little uh, paraphrase. So when you do your scripture art journal, if you want to go ahead and use the entire verse, absolutely do that. This is just like the A version of it. So whatever you do. And what I did was I noticed that the little computer screen here was kind of blank. And I thought, you know, wouldn't it be cute to cut the scripture out of a little piece of paper and put it like it's on the computer screen, like it's reminded me. I think that's super cute. I actually thought I could hang a picture on the wall or something. But then when I realized how blank that um, portion of the screen was, I thought that is perfect. So what I'm going to do is glue it down. So this piece of paper I'm using is a scrap piece that I stamped on and didn't throw away because I knew I would be able to use it somewhere. So the back of it's got some stamping, but the front is just plain white. I'm just going to stick that down onto the little computer screen. I love that. I wish my office space was this cute. I'd probably want to be in it more often. <laughs> let's get the book back out. And let's put this in. We find our spot. I think this is it. Yep, it goes right here today. So, I'm going to put some glue onto the back of it and put that down. Now, again, I know that was quick and easy, but it just works for me. It's what I wanted to do. You guys think like that, too. Don't feel like you have to spend hours upon hours doing your scripture art journaling. Remember, the whole point of this is to remember the verses, to be able to focus on them and to think about, you know, what does this verse say to you? And for me, this speaks to me so much. Now, I had a comment this week of somebody asking me to do a flip through, and I thought I would just put the book here and do a quick flip through and let you see everything. And there is a video for most of all of these pages on my channel. Um, I'll make sure they're in a playlist, and I'll link that playlist below so you can see them. This is how they look. They're all so pretty. I like have favorites here and there. I re it's funny too because when I look at them, I remember what I was thinking at the time, which is kind of what I'm hoping this one does. Like this one right here, I'm thinking I've got to go back and do it. <laughs> And then, I love this one. This one was at Easter time. I remember that. And it's neat how they take you back. I remember this was a time when I had no time in the week, and I wanted to make sure I did it. So I did several of them with um, just printing things out. So that's what those are. And then... This one has my testimony in the envelope, which I think is super cool. If you haven't read my testimony, I'll link the blog post for that. It is below. It's the testimony of um, where I was healed from my anxiety. So I'll link that below too. Lots of stuff to link, huh? And then, oops, let me get that to shut down. And then these two. I just love them. And look at these. This is Joseph's artwork. This is his watercolor. And then this is last week. So it's two weeks in one here. And then this week. So there's a quick little walkthrough. Some people had asked if they could get one, and I thought I would do that for you. So thanks so much for joining me this week, guys. I'll see you next week for more Scripture Art Journaling. And if you're wondering what this is all about, check us out on our Facebook page, which is called Hide His Word in My Heart. There's a link to that in all my social medias below. Um, thanks so much again. I'll talk to you on Monday. Bye-bye.